A program at Purdue that's the first of its kind in the country has gotten its final approval. For Boilermakers who choose to enroll, it steers away from traditional credit hours and toward badges, which demonstrate competency. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now and reports it's coming to the Purdue Polytechnic Institute. Brittany? Dan, this competency-based program will allow students to prove their capabilities and make sure they're ready for the workplace. I thought that's more applicable to the workforce currently than um, things like, you know, taking exams and like grades. Terrence Jackson is currently working on his grades in Purdue's Polytechnic Institute, but he's heard about the new competency-based program and thinks with time it will be a hit. When you really learn something is when you can apply it to other things in your everyday life. And university leaders are hoping students will apply these skills in their daily lives. Interim Associate Dean of Undergraduate Programs Jeffrey Evans says students will be assessed on competencies. Students that pass the assessments will be uh, given basically a digital badge and these digital badges um, will be reflected as a, as a part of their, their academic record. Students must demonstrate expertise in eight broad competencies. Some of those include design thinking and effective communication. Students create and curate an e-portfolio. So that's really kind of the, the mechanism that students use to actually show what they can do with what they know. It was approved by the Indiana Commission for Higher Education last year. Final approval was given by the regional accreditation agency, the Higher Learning Commission. University officials believe it's the first of its kind. We think we're among the first, if not the first, to uh, develop a competency-based program for residential, traditional students at a major research-intensive university on the main campus. Purdue started working on the program in 2013. The Polytechnic Institute faculty spent a year on the degree, and students then started participating in a pilot program in 2014. Brittany Tyner, News 18.